If you missed my last vlog, we've got the first cutting of hay in. Whew, I heard a noise. It was something in my truck. Anyway, we got our first cutting of hay done yesterday, and now we've got to reseed all the river bottoms that got flooded so we can get our real hay up. <laughs> like we gotta get it up so we can get it down so we can get it up. Got that? So we're off to spray. And I gotta I gotta put a big water tank in the back of my truck so I can take it to him to refill. Here we go. Loaded for bear. Filling up. <laughs> Electric tape holding the hose so I don't have to stand up there the whole time. Bungees, my idea. Thank you. I have good ones sometimes. And uh yeah, nothing else is getting in this truck bed. waiting on the word go. Just got the word go. Look what I got in the mail from my friend Leslie in Saskatchewan, Canada. Pretty little bling. It's okay. We can sparkle while we deliver water. And y'all, looky here. It sure, sure looks like it could rain. Pretty sure that it's not good for spraying chemicals. Hmm. Bumpiest road ever. <laughs> Gotta go down the bottom, cross a creek. We'll be right down here in the river bottom. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't rain. Operation Find a Farmer. There he is. Found him. <laughs> See better out a window that's not dirty. So he's spraying a mixture of 2,4-D and Roundup. I do know that much. Always waiting on a farmer. A W O F. At least the text went through, so he was able to tell me when to come. I'm, I'd much rather be here early waiting on him than him run out waiting on me. We're going to put the chemical in there so we don't open it. Okay. drain itself. I mean, obviously, the pump does the work, but it's pretty cool. So this was a field of oats that we cut for hay last year and so there's volunteer oats coming up. So we're, sp we're spraying, we're going to kill all of this and then come back with pearl millet 
and it's starting to sprinkle. Hmm. Well, I have been driving around with this water tank in the back of my truck for several days. It has gone to town with me several times, but I need to take it out of my truck because I need my truck bed for other things. So, the farmer is busy. He's bush hogging. And I'm going to attempt to do this by myself. Wish me luck. <laughs> See how this goes. I need to come back. Take two. Take three. This might work. something by myself and I only left a little bit of paint just a little just a little paint Ugh, whatever can't hurt this truck in town the kids and I were out of town and while we've been gone hubs has been here farmers been here working yet again on my tractors air conditioning which went out yet again he thinks he might have it figured out for good not sure um, and when we were rolling in he was rolling out with a disc harrow to go start working on some river bottoms that we've got to get reseeded ASAP. But after having rain for 10 months last year, we are now facing some drought. It hasn't rained substantially in four weeks since we planted corn. So he needs to spray the corn. We need to finish weaning calves from cows because the pasture's drying up. We need to get reseeded, which will need some rain. So it's always something, right? It's always something. But right now, I'm going to the auto store, Napa Advance, one of those places. And my instructions are to get a female cigarette lighter. Like the part that goes in the tractor so he can use to plug up his phone because his phone keeps dying and then there might have been an, uh, a situation recently where I didn't know he was in a field and he needed to be picked up and he might have stayed there for a very long time because he was very far away. <laughs> so I'm going to find a female cigarette lighter that works. And in true Marty fashion, <laughs> I am, I'm on E, almost, almost below E. But let me just tell you, we made it, oh, the door, door, 
door didn't get closed. Um, we made it 232 miles home on less, a little less than a tank of gas. So, pretty sure the 22 gallon tank is sitting on fumes. Hopefully I make it. I'm really bad about that, but I knew I could make it. I just hope I can make it from here to there.